We all know that discussing finances with our partners can sometimes be challenging, but it's crucial for building a strong foundation in any relationship. Today, we're going to explore how the principles from The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman can help us navigate those money conversations and build healthier connections. So, let's jump right in. Financial conflicts can arise from various sources, such as differences in spending habits, financial secrecy, or disagreements about financial goals. These conflicts can lead to stress and tension in relationships, making it essential to address them with care and understanding. One of the keys to resolving these conflicts lies in recognizing that money talk is not just about numbers, it's about emotions and values. Money carries significant emotional weight, and understanding each other's perspectives is crucial in finding common ground. By addressing financial conflicts head-on and fostering open communication, you can build trust, understanding, and a shared sense of responsibility towards your financial future. So, how can we address financial conflicts effectively? Start by setting aside a specific time to discuss finances when both partners are calm and ready to communicate openly. Practice active listening and empathy to truly understand each other's concerns and desires. Remember, the goal is not to win an argument but to find a solution that works for both of you. In addition, financial conflicts can sometimes be a manifestation of deeper emotional issues within the relationship. So, take time to explore how money talk may be connected to other aspects of your partnership. By addressing financial conflicts with patience and compassion, you create a safe space for honest communication, strengthening the foundation of your relationship. Let's dive into the book that will guide us in transforming money talk in relationships, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. This book introduces us to the five different ways people experience and express love, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Understanding each other's love languages will provide us with valuable insights into how we perceive and express love, which extends to our handling of money in relationships. The first step towards applying the principles of the five love languages to our finances is identifying our primary love language. Take a moment to reflect on how you feel most loved and appreciated by your partner. Once you've identified your love language, let's explore how it influences your money habits. For example, if your love language is quality time, you might appreciate financial discussions during dedicated moments together, strengthening your connection. Understanding each other's love languages empowers us to tailor our approach to money talk in ways that resonate with our partner, nurturing a deeper understanding and appreciation for each other's financial perspectives. Moreover, recognizing each other's love languages can provide valuable insights into the motivations behind certain financial behaviors. For instance, if your partner's love language is receiving gifts, they may show their love by giving meaningful presents, which can influence their approach to spending and saving. By being aware of each other's love languages, you can approach money discussions with greater empathy and find common ground that caters to both your emotional needs and financial goals. Now that we understand our love languages, it's time to apply them to our financial conversations. By aligning money talk with our partner's love language, we create a more receptive and understanding environment. If your partner's love language is words of affirmation, express love and appreciation for their financial efforts and contributions. Simple affirmations can go a long way in fostering a positive and supportive financial atmosphere. For those with the love language of receiving gifts, thoughtful financial gestures can be powerful expressions of love and care. Remember, the goal is to embrace our partner's love language and find ways to communicate about money that align with their preferences, creating a more harmonious financial journey together. Applying love languages to money conversations can be transformative. It allows both partners to feel loved, valued, and understood, even during discussions that may involve differences in financial priorities. Moreover, financial discussions infused with love languages create an atmosphere of collaboration and support, enabling you to work together towards shared financial goals with enthusiasm and unity. As with any relationship, challenges may arise, but by applying the principles of the five love languages, we can overcome them as a team. For instance, if your partner's love language is acts of service, they might appreciate you taking the lead in financial planning and providing support during challenging times. Show love through practical financial gestures that ease financial stress and foster trust. Overcoming conflicts requires empathy and understanding. Acknowledge each other's perspectives, and be open to finding solutions that work for both of you. By applying love languages, you create an environment where financial conflicts become opportunities for growth and deeper connection. Rather than allowing disagreements to drive you apart, they become stepping stones towards a stronger and more resilient partnership. Remember, embracing each other's love languages fosters an atmosphere of emotional support, which lays the groundwork for working together as a team to achieve your financial dreams. Financial intimacy is about being transparent, supportive, and working together towards your financial goals. Strengthen financial intimacy by regularly discussing your financial dreams and aspirations. 
Share your short-term and long-term goals with your partner, and be open to adapting them as your relationship evolves. Celebrate your financial milestones together. Acknowledge and appreciate each other's efforts, fostering a sense of accomplishment and inspiring continued financial growth. Tracking your progress as a team not only reinforces your commitment to your financial future but also deepens the bond between you and your partner. Additionally, be mindful of financial decisions that may impact your partner and involve them in the process. Financial intimacy thrives when both partners feel included and valued in the pursuit of shared financial goals. Remember, communication is the key to financial success in any relationship. Be patient, understanding, and committed to working together on your financial journey. Congratulations! You now have the tools to navigate money talk in your relationship using the five love languages. By understanding each other's love languages and expressing love, through financial conversations, you can build a stronger and more harmonious financial future together. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Wealth Cliffs for more content on personal finance and relationship tips. For those interested in diving deeper into the art of communication and building lasting connections, I highly recommend reading The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. It offers profound insights that extend beyond finances and into all aspects of our relationships. Remember, we are not financial advisors, and the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. For personalized financial guidance, consult with a qualified professional. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep the love alive and the money talk open.